We're here. Um, I got Tammy in the lobby and I'll bring her up in a minute. But I told her I want to leave the picture of our new showrunner, Angela Kang, up on the screen for a little bit because I am going to talk about her for a minute and then I'll take the picture down. Um, and bring Tammy up so we can talk about her. So for those of you, in case you were asleep all day yesterday, or in case you guys live in Hawaii, like my beautiful and amazing friend, Lucella, um, who sent me a message telling me goodbye, um, and went through that horrific ordeal. Um, you missed the announcement that our show got the gorgeous, uh, new showrunner, Miss Angela Kang. So this is her, in case you are not aware of who she is. And we're gonna talk about this today. And that is why we're here. Hello, Miss Piper. Um, I see you. Um, see, every single broadcast, she's there. She's sitting right there, our beautiful Miss Cinder Apocalypse, who is soon going to have a boyfriend i can't wait um <laughs> um so um we're gonna talk about about the promotion of angela kang to showrunner um the reason i chose this picture of her with mr norman Reedus is because i'm going to clear up some uh some uh, little rumors that Miss Yvette Nicole Brown likes to say that she was the original. <laughs> oh, Tammy, I just want to hug you and kiss you sometimes. Tammy did a little little sneer down there. I think I can't see you, but I see you, beautiful woman. Um, <laughs> Yvette Nicole Brown likes to take credit for shipping uh, Daryl and Carol, but I want to clear the air and let all of you uh, uh Carol and Daryl Shippers know that the woman actually responsible for that is Miss Angela Kang. Um, I also want to uh, give you guys a little bit of background on who she is and tell you a little bit about her and let you guys know why I think that this was an absolutely brilliant decision on part of AMC. Okay, so this is our new showrunner. I think it's a great idea. It makes me hopeful. It, uh, I was pleased when I saw the announcement. Um, and I want to give you guys hope. I know that everyone's been upset since the mid-season finale. Um, and I understand why. And I want you guys to be hopeful now. I want you guys to, to really honestly give Angela Kang a chance and um, understand that this is good. This was a good decision for a lot of reasons. And we may not be able to get Carl back, but she, if anyone, can take this really bad decision on Gimple's part and, and make something good come out of the garbage that he has left behind. Um, so we're going to try to make some sense of that, okay? So I'll take the picture down here now, and I'm going to bring up our beautiful Tammy. Um, so Tammy and Colleen, um, when you guys heard the news that we got a new showrunner, um, Tammy was the one that actually found the article. So I, I saw it, and I just like, I was like in shock, and I was just, Hi, Oscar and fuck Scott Gimple. <laughs> um, <laughs> hi. So what did you guys think when you first heard that we, we finally got us a new a new showrunner? What did you guys think? Are you talking I about Scott? Scott? You did? What, is, what did you think, Tammy, when you read it? I know you told me, but tell them. What did you think? I, I, I read it four times. And then I posted it really fast, and then I messaged you to go read it. <laughs> I couldn't believe. I, I just was like, when I saw your message, 
I literally, I read your message and then I kept messaging you while I was going through it line by line. And then I would go back to you and message again. And then I was just like, uh, and, and then I'd go back to it. Like this can't, please don't let this be a joke. Please don't let, you know. Um, and then I immediately started looking up Angela. And when I realized who she was, I just kept thinking, oh my God, they got it right. They got it right. And I know a lot of people, there have been some people that were like, this, this isn't going to work of all the people. Why they pick her? And it's like, you guys do your homework, do your why homework. Not? They got it right. This was a good decision. And I'm, I'm going to tell you guys why I think this was a good decision. Did you Oscar? Ah, oh, that's good. Oscar. Oh, good job. Oscar. Tell us, I, I want you to put your comments down and tell us why you think this was a good idea, but I see Piper's on. So I want to know what Piper thinks. Um, I know I've been, uh, commenting back and forth with her. Is that feedback on my end? I don't have anything open. I don't either. I closed Facebook. I don't know why mine's doing it. No, I got no feedback. Okay, I'm just I'm just hoping. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going. Um, you guys watch the comments. Make sure that we, you know, tell everyone that comes on hello. While I give you guys a rundown on Angela and why this is a a good decision. Okay, and then we're gonna go. Also, I want to reassure because we had some members that were still really upset about the decision that AMC made regarding Gimple. Okay. Hi, Jacoya. Hi, Jacoya. Um, and we're go I'm going to break that down for you. Okay. Yes, I know. Yes. He, he does try to block my, my broadcast, but, um, he can't do that for much longer. I'm background <laughs> on uh on Miss Angela Kang, okay? First and foremost, with everything that is going on in Hollywood right now, I don't think that AMC could have made a better decision than to put at the helm of TV's highest rated television series, even though the ratings have dropped. It's still television's highest rated TV show. The smartest decision that they could make at this point in time is to put a female Asian showrunner in charge of The Walking Dead. If you think about this, she has just become a huge, a very huge, powerful woman in television with this decision with this one little decision angela kang is now on the level with gail ann hurd and gail ann hurd is like the queen in hollywood she is like what happened i was trying to show, i was trying to show you i took a screenshot because that was the only way i could do it she's been involved in 19 episodes well, 19. that's the thing. I have them all yeah. written down. I'm going to okay. write them down. <laughs> I have done extensive research on her ever since this has been announced. Okay. And pretty much all the best episodes were written by her. The highest rated, critically acclaimed episodes. First of all, Angela Kang joined The Walking Dead in the very beginning of season two. She was with The Walking Dead long before anyone even knew who Scott Pimple was, okay? Um, <laughs> she was involved long ago. So she has been with the show longer than any of them, okay? She also was not, she was a story editor, not just a writer, but she was a story editor. She was a, a co-producer, a producer. She's she worked her way up from the bottom and that makes me respect her even more because having been in management myself and I don't care if you worked in management in whatever field 
But if you have worked in management in any, in, no matter what field you've been in, if you know people that have started from the very bottom and worked their way to the top, you have to admire people like that because they understand what it takes from, you know, they understand what it means to be in that person's position, to be in that person's position. To, she gets it. She's going to have respect for everybody working on that set. She didn't just come in at the top. She doesn't have an ego. She's going to be the first showrunner that does not have an ego. And that yeah. matters. I, it just matters. The other thing is she's a massive, massive fan of the comics. She literally geeked out when they asked her for a statement. She geeked out about how much she loves Robert Kirkman and the comics, which means she's not going to just give us her vision of what she thinks The Walking Dead should be. He's probably going to be the first showrunner that we have that's going to collaborate and actually care about sticking with Robert Kirkman's comics. And that's what's been yeah. so important this whole time. It's what fans have asked for. Okay? She has written some of the most critically acclaimed and most emotional episodes that we have had on the show. So I'm going to tell you right now the ones that she wrote, because when I was reading them, I was like, holy crap. She literally wrote some of my, the most, like my favorite episodes. My very favorite one was in season one, but then starting in season two, when she came on, she wrote season two, episode six secrets. Season two, episode 11, judge, jury, and executioner. She wrote season three, episode five, say the word. Season three, episode 11, I ain't no Judas, which was Merle's death. So that makes me choke up right there. Um, yeah. Season four, episode two, infected. Season four, episode 12, still, which, like oh that one right there, that's nothing but Beth and Daryl. So I know, and I love that episode. That episode is just amazing. Yeah, this one right here is what solidifies it for me because it's the highest rated episode of Walking Dead ever, and that was season four, episode 16, the finale, which was A. A. When they went to Terminus, mm -hmm. that's the highest rated episode of Walking Dead ever, and she wrote it. Um, season five, episode three, four walls and a roof, which was brutal. So we know she's not afraid to go there because that's yeah. where Rick and, and everybody just brutally killed Gareth in the church. Season five, episode eight, Coda, she wrote Beth's final goodbye. Season five, episode 15, try. Season six, episode Three, thank you. She wrote season six, episode 10, The Next World. She wrote season six, episode 13, The Same Boat. Season seven, episode three, The Cell. So sorry, guys, but when Daryl was suffering. That was her. Yeah, that was her. Season seven, episode seven, Sing Me a Song. And just so you guys know, she's a major, major Daryl Dixon fan. So the fact that she can take her favorite character and literally make him suffer. Yeah. Season seven, episode nine, rock the road and uh, rock in the road. Rock and then season eight, episode five, big scary you. So literally like this woman has like, yeah. is responsible for the episodes that have like made the walking dead, the powerhouse, the powerhouse that it was, especially in episode, in season five. Because season five was when Gimple came on as showrunner. And that's when the ratings went. Yeah. Here. And the reason it did was because of her. 
because of them. Yeah. Because of her writing and what she was doing, and he took all the fucking credit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was the right decision, guys. This was the right decision. Oh, hands down. This was the right decision. So everybody breathe. They did the right thing. Okay? Um, now, this is the other thing I've been talking a lot, a lot, especially with my darling friend Piper and a lot with the gals here, with my admins. And I'm going to say this a million times over, and I don't care, but until people get this through their head, because I really think this matters. Usa, Usa. Oh, you're so good. Hold on. Here we go to the deep shit. Where's Helen? Because this is the part that Helen is like so upset about. I, where's our Where's our girl Helen? I'm so worried. This thing about Gimple just getting. You guys have to relax. AMC is currently being sued by Frank Darabont, Glenn Mazzara, two previous showrunners. Right. Hi, Lola. He's Hi, Lola. Also, he's also being sued by Robert Kirkman, Gail Ann Hurd, David Alpert. Okay. AMC is being sued up the butt. <laughs> okay. We're talking about the new showrunner and how Scott Pimple is on his way out. <laughs> so. <laughs> because he's about to burst Colleen found this amazing link on YouTube and in that link in the descriptions it had a link to the actual lawsuit between Robert Kirkman Galen Hurd and Glenn Mazar and David Alpert okay <laughs> I'm going to say it a million times a million times stop stop reading stop Entertainment Weekly, stop reading Us Magazine, stop reading all of these TV Guide magazines, stop reading all of these articles that say Scott Gimple got this great promotion and he's in charge of the whole Walking Dead universe and la la la. Go like this. La 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 la. Because it's all damage control. That's all it is. Okay? I, I really want to reinforce this to you guys a million times over. The Walking Dead is the only cash cow that AMC has right now. They are making so much money off of The Walking Dead. They do not want to lose their cash cow. Yeah. So follow the timeline. Start at January of last year. Scott Pimple and his ego can't fit through the door. He's like this, okay? He cannot fit his big, fat, ugly head through the door. He thinks he's a better writer than Robert Kirkman, who has been successfully selling these comics and this story since 2006, right? Yeah, about, about then. Okay. Here's my timeline. Robert Kirkman starts getting pissed off because he starts doing the math. Now, the way television shows work is a network has the show, a separate outside studio. I'm, I can see I'm breaking up. Hold on. Tell me when I'm, am I good? You're good. Okay. You're good. A separate outside studio such as Breaking Bad, Mad Men, Better Call Saul. And I'm going to use those because they are mentioned about 47 million times in the current lawsuit, if you read it. They are filmed in an outside studio, such as Sony Pictures, whatever, somewhere else. Okay? AMC pays a licensing fee to those studios to produce those shows. 
Do you follow me so far? Yep. Okay. So what happens is AMC figures out that The Walking Dead in season four, they start thinking The Walking Dead is the highest rated television show in, in history. They're making so much money. If we buy our own studio and produce the show ourselves, we don't have to pay those licensing fees to another studio. We can keep that money for ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Do you follow me so far? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's what they did at the end of season four. They decided that from then on, Walking Dead would be produced, filmed, and everything in their own AMC studios. So they went to Georgia. They bought all that land, and they decided this is now AMC Studios. Follow me? Yep. yep. They decided Walking Dead would be produced, filmed, and everything on AMC Studios only. Mm -hmm. Then they negotiate. Instead of AMC negotiating with Sony Studios, AMC is now negotiating with themselves. Them themselves. So what do they do? Hi, I need to negotiate the licensing fee. Instead of, hi, I'm Sony Studios, the licensing fee will be $30 million. AMC says, hi, the licensing is five bucks. Mm -hmm. So now what happens? AMC lies. And they take all the profits from this licensing fee, the profits of which are supposed to be paid a percentage to Robert Kirkman, Gail Ann Hurd, Glenn <coughs> Lazara, David Alpert. And they tell yeah. them the percentage of that licensing fee, which would have been $30 million, is now only nothing because they lowballed it. And of yeah. course, they're lying. So all the profits coming in from those feeds are going straight into AMC's pockets. And they're not giving shit to Robert Kirkman, Gail Ann Hurt. Yeah. You understand? They're taking all the money home. Yeah, not just that. There's and the merchandise meanwhile, that they... Meanwhile, and the merchandising, everything. And meanwhile, Walking Dead is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And AMC's pockets are getting fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter. Do you follow? And they're getting more yeah. and more from advertising, from merchandising. They give permission to Funko to make Funko Pop dolls that Kirkman flat out denied. He never gave permission to Funko to make those dolls. You keep getting booted out to call out. So it's probably because of the weather. They ne He flat out denied for Funko to make those dolls. So AMC illegally gave permission for that, and they've been taking all the, pr all the money from that. So this is why Robert Kirkman is suing them. Okay? Yes, Oscar, exactly. So this is what has happened. Robert Kirkman got fed up. He started really getting fed up around February and March of this year. And he said, you know what? You're screwing up my show. Kirkman is just going wherever he wants with his artsy fartsy writing. He's not following the comics like he said he would. You mean Gimple? Gimple. You said Kirk. Sorry. Kirkman go well, Kirkman goes in and he says Gimple is writing the way he wants to. Mm -hmm. He's doing all these fartsy artsy little camera things. The music sucks. The writing sucks. It's not what it was. He said he would stick to the comics. He's not doing that. Kirkman wants Gimple out. Okay. Yeah. There starts to be word that there's like 
It's getting a little hostile behind the scenes. Okay? The show starts filming in May. This is where you guys need to pay attention to the timeline. This is where the timeline is extremely, extremely, extremely important. Okay? Kirkman wants yeah. to know. Kimple yeah, wants that's to it. Yes. AMC was lying and stealing all their money. All the money. And anybody who wants to read the lawsuit, I can only send it to you through email because it's a long PDF file. It's 62 pages. If you send me your email, I am more than happy to send you the lawsuit. Here we go. Are we ready for the timeline? Because the timeline matters. And if you follow the timeline of events, you will understand why all this shit happened. Okay? Because in the show, was it last? Okay, when was it that Carl went sociopath? sociopath jumped out of the truck and went and tried to murder Negan himself. That was last season, wasn't it? Okay. Yeah. Remember that. Remember that. Cause Carl went he he went rogue and he was like, fuck Negan. I'm gonna go kill him myself. You guys are right? Remember that. Yeah. Okay. Because that doesn't add up with Pimple's excuse to either. So here we go. We come to April. Are you with me? Everybody yep. with me? Okay. Follow the timeline. <laughs> Kirkman is tired of pimple shit. April 14th, the announcement is made that Scott Gimple is going to be made the showrunner of Fear the Walking Dead, which is a demotion for Scott Gimple. Okay? <laughs> Let's be honest, that's a fucking demotion. Yeah. yeah. Scott Gimple, his little ego goes, <laughs> the show starts filming every year in May. Right? Yeah. Yep. So April 14th, he gets demoted because he's a piece of shit. May, the show starts filming. He's walking around rubbing his ovaries. Fuckers. Fuckers. <laughs> I can't stand them. June. Hi, Virginia. <laughs> so now we're at June. And Gimple's walking around because his ovaries are bruised. And he hates everybody, especially Robert Kirkman. So what does he do? He's like, fuck you, Robert Kirkman. I'll get back at you. He pulls oh, Chandler sure. from the office and decides... I'm going to get Kirkman the best way I know how. If you're going to push me out, I'm going to kill off your favorite character. And he pulls Chandler Riggs in the office in the middle of June, and he fires Chandler Riggs, who plays Carl, who everyone knows is Robert Kirkman's favorite fucking character. That's June. Now we're coming up to August. Robert Kirkman is done with everybody's shit. Now they've gone too far. August 11th, Robert Kirkman announces to the world that he has now inked a deal with Amazon Prime. And he's taking his ball and he's going home. And from now on, Skybound and all of his stuff is on Amazon Prime. And not only that, but on August 14th, three days later, he walks into the offices of AMC with his lawyers and a nice big fat piece of paper, like this big, and tells AMC, fuck you and the shitty horse you rode in on. I'm suing the shit out of you and I want my fucking money. Follow the timeline. Makes sense. So it AMC now sense. is sitting there going, oh, shit. Because the other thing is, is in Robert Kirkman's original contract 
there's one sentence and I'm going to find the sentence because this guy who made this YouTube video is fucking brilliant. There's one sentence where they fucked up and it has something to do with the word license. But apparently Robert Kirkman can literally pick up the entire walking dead universe and leave and AMC can't do shit. So from August until the announcement yesterday, Long time. AMC has been doing damage control and literally saying, don't fucking go. Don't fucking go. We're going to do whatever you want. And he said, get rid of Pimple. Get rid of him completely. I don't want him touching my fucking show. But Angela Kang in charge. And so what they've been trying to do is a lot of fucking damage control and stomping out fires. And they were waiting because he already had those shows in the can. There's nothing we can do. They already filmed those episodes. He killed Carl. There's nothing we can do about it. But at this point, all they can do is put some people in place to stomp out the fires. Yeah. So they wait as long as they can, which is why it's taken them so damn long to renew the show. The, re the show was not renewed until yesterday when they made this announcement. I've been watching that damn thing every single day. Yeah. As of the, as of the 12th, because I remember I kept showing you guys the pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As of the 12th, yeah. the show was not renewed. Right. So they literally took it to the wire. And then they said, okay, we'll renew it. But he has to go. So what AMC has done is they have decided if we fire Gimple, he's going to sue us too, or he's going to run his mouth. So they made up a title for a job that has never existed. And they said, you go over here and you play with Fear the Walking Dead. <laughs> and we'll put you in charge of, and even Colleen pointed this out, and it's hilarious. We'll put you in charge of merchandising. Nice. Which they're about to lose. <laughs> <laughs> they're about to lose yeah. in this huge fucking lawsuit <laughs> that Robert Kirkman has them by the short hairs. <laughs> and that's the ultimate fuck, fuck your you people. pimple. <laughs> yeah. You're going down with this. So everyone who says that like Scott Gimple got promoted and no he didn't they just they just put him on the sidelines and said here buddy it's like, it's like a participation trophy here <laughs> look we gave you a little certificate you little snot bag here go over here and sit down you you participate Play with your crayon, your coloring. <laughs> that's and your fun part guys that's all they did. So everybody breathe. I promise you that's all they did. They're pacifying the spoiled little snot rag. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They gave him a tissue and they're like, take your little fucking ego and go over there and drink your chocolate milk and shut up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because we don't want to get sued again. We don't want to get sued. <laughs> and thanks, Carissa. Hi, Carissa. Carissa says she loves this. <laughs> I really, I really hope that this is making sense to you guys because I've been, I've been researching and I've been, I read every single page of that lawsuit. And you guys, this it, announcement's just lit a fire under your ass, hasn't it? it? <laughs> because up until yesterday it was just like eh, 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 I'm not and then this As announcement you know. and the fire is relit and Penny's on fire again He's on fire as soon as Tammy sent it to me I was like <gasps> <gasps> and I was like by this the time I got it I was just a bit oh, I don't know because I'm half asleep I was just, he got put in the barn, Jacoya said. <laughs> yes, he got put in the barn and he's never allowed out again. <laughs> Honestly, come on, you guys, let's be honest. If you were told. Unless we get to put him down Sophia style. <laughs> uh, 
he literally he got he got given a fancy title to some promote like something that doesn't even exist i don't know why people are going oh god you guys it sucks because he's he got it he got promoted like shut up no he did not yes beth yes yes we got it's like that barn go sit in the corner and play with your toys like and the thing too, someone someone sent me a message and they were like, Penny, you're so far off on this. You're so far off. And I'm like, okay, I'm I'm listening. I'm 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 open, honest to God. And if you guys are if you guys think I'm off, then come on, let's hear it. I want to hear it. I'm open, honest. But they told me how I was so far off because Robert Kirkman. <laughs> Hi, Carissa. <laughs> Carissa, I had a friend named Carissa, and everyone butchered her name too. They <laughs> butcher my real name, and that's why I have a nickname. Um, they they told me that I was so far off because Robert Kirkman finally said something about Carl being killed off. His balls are on the yeah. <laughs> I don't think Gimple has them. He's too whiny. <laughs> um, that been burnt off already. <laughs> that. Robert Kirkman finally spoke out about the death of Carl and he said, blah, blah, blah. Here's why I don't care. I don't care. And I don't believe it. He's in the middle of a huge lawsuit with AMC. Yeah. When you're involved in a lawsuit, you're automatically put on a gag order. So Robert Kirkman is not going to come out and say, fuck AMC, they make me sick, and fuck Robert. You know, like, like he's not going to come out and, like, and, and screw Scott he Kimber, can't. like, that piece of shit. He killed my... He's not going to do that. Because he can't. He'll he lose can't. his suit then. Yes. Exactly. What do you guys think he's going to do? He wants to get his money. The man is owed his money. These people are stealing from him. I think he I think he also wanted to pacify. He knows how angry the fandom is. And yeah. I think he kind of wanted to pacify and calm it down too. And he thought that if he agrees with it or goes along with it, you know, that maybe we'll all calm down about it. Right. Yeah. Right. right. I think he's, I think that he's trying to get, sorry guys, I had to move. So I, sorry. I agree, Tammy. I think that he's trying to help, you know, like, okay guys, we had, you know, we had our freak outs and we, you know, everybody's mad, but it's done now. And right. that's what, there's nothing we can do guys. No. Gimple, he killed him. Yeah. It's yeah. done. and. Yeah. We're all mad and we're pissed about it. But now but the best we thing will to do is move on. Right. And now I think that they picked the best person to make, like I said, to the grow chance. flowers in the garbage. And that's what she's got to do. Think about this. Yeah. She has to grow flowers in the garbage left behind. Right. And this is not an easy job. And if anyone can do it. She can. She can because she went through the bullshit when they fired Darabont and Mazzara had to pick up the pieces. She was there when they yeah. got Mazzara and then Gimple came in. She was there. So she knows Joe back to front, inside out, and she's a fan of the comics. She's a fan of Kirkman. Kirkman handpicked her. Why? Why can't people see that this really is a good thing? I the more I read about her, the more I'm just like, holy crap! They they may have actually done a good thing here. Yeah, I think they saved the show. Uh, oh, oh, Tammy! Oh, let's give it up for Tammy! <laughs> oh. Cinder clap, yes. Cinder clap. <laughs> Cinder clap. Cinder clap. I, you know what? And I've been afraid because I've been thinking, like, how are they? 
my whole fear was they weren't going to do shit about him. Right. I thought that it was dead that they were ramping up to end it this season. We didn't we talk about that? Mm hmm. Yeah, Beth. And, and Beth, let's hope that that's what happens, that she brings fans back, because I think fans that when they start seeing that um, she had a hand in all these episodes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Oscar, I think all of us are finding yeah. out to be like, huh. Oh, that's okay. That's I, okay. I'm glad you're here. We just gave a cinder clap. We all gave a cinder clap to Tammy. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I have hope now. And I, I'm not kidding. I've been really bummed ever since I thought that the show was done. You guys have no idea how bummed she's been. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I was thinking about shutting down the page. I, I didn't. I uh, Yeah. But I did, because I mean, it yeah. just seemed like it, it, it like the, the show was done. And I'm sitting here going, no, yeah. don't do that. I love doing it so much. It's it's was Thanks, something that was yeah. It was <laughs> Thanks, Lola. It was something that's just been heart wrenching for everyone. And then I go, you know, and I see other people, you know. And how other fans are upset and other people are telling them to shut up or get over it. or And I don't tolerate that kind of stuff. I I don't like seeing yeah, it. Come on, come on, guys. Please stop being assholes to each other. Seriously. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, Oscar. I, I Oscar, I really was that upset at first. I really was. But, <laughs> yeah, we did give a cinder clap. We did. We all gave a cinder clap. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I really was that that sad. And then when I you know, I don't I take it very seriously when I have to ban someone from the page. Mm-hmm. Hi Mai. Hi Mai. Hi. Mai uh, is my best friend from school. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Um I've been on other you know, other chats and other pages and watching to see what other people were saying and stuff and just seeing how cruel and ugly people were being to each other. It's yeah. really disheartening. And the the fact that um it's for sale. What the fudge <laughs> is it with this stupid couch? Oh, okay. I get yeah. you now. <laughs> <laughs> The thing that, you know, like people being cruel like that and then people um, My. coming on the page here. On our page, yeah. On our page and doing it. Um, it's not funny. And I don't like people coming on the page and um, saying like, you know, um, oh my gosh, you know. Like, okay, Lola. Saying things and, and being cruel to other people on the page and telling people to get a life. Telling people it's just a show, like, get over it, you know, being really... I've had to ban so many people. Yeah. And, um, Even I, I've had to ban people, and I don't like doing it. I usually I have like, to... Yeah, I don't like doing it at all. And it was really... It's been really upsetting to me that we've had to do that so often lately. And I just... I don't like that. I don't like having to do that. Um, so in fact, uh, it'd be nice to each other. Yeah, What's it's funny. Yeah, it's it's not necessary. I mean, people are upset, and I understand. Even Kirkman himself, when he was asked I bet about you death, he said, "Yes, people are upset. That means that they are emotionally attached and invested in this show, and that means we did our job." Yeah. That means that you are involved and invested in this show. It's not the word. It's when you are cruel to each other. Mm. I, will, I will ban you. If you yeah. come on this page and if you come on here and you start telling one of my 
infected to get a life or this is just a show stop acting like you know i will kick you off and i you don't come on here and tell someone that because they were are upset this is the place that they have this is their safe place and we protect that we don't bully people on this page it's not funny and you don't do that here um and if you think it's funny there's nine million other fan pages out there go find them yeah i'm in yeah bye <laughs> doesn't bother us so anyway that's what we wanted to chat about was the fact that we got a new showrunner <laughs> And it's a new day. And that's a good And no day. one's gonna rain on our season nine parade. Nobody. No, they don't, Oscar. And no nope. right. Hi Marta. Hi, Marta. Marta's here. And we're happy that we have a new showrunner. And we're happy that it's a girl. Yeah. Girl power. Maybe this power. is the fresh air that we need. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Think of it positive. Change is good. You know, don't fear change. I think sometimes people are afraid of it. So, you know, don't be afraid that let's give her. It. And the fact that she's been there the whole time. Yeah. It gives me comfort, you know, like. That's right, Jaquia, tell him. Exactly. Um, we will shut that shit down, no exceptions. I think that Angela has secretly been sitting there. Hi, Telma, how are you? Um, I'm sure that she has secretly been sitting in the in lurking in the shadows and listening That's to okay, the whole time. Nah, you're nobody's late. You got here when you were supposed We're just to. early. We're just early. Yeah. Um what else do you guys? I mean, you guys feel better? What do you think? Let's hear what you think. What do you think? You want to go first, Tammy? Oh, I, I thought she was talking to everybody else. <laughs> I felt I felt good because I read it. I I was excited right from the first sentence that I read. I was so excited. And when I saw what episode she's already been involved in or were her own, they were the best episodes. I love them. So I'm I'm so yeah. excited. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be, I think it's saved the show. I think that she will save the rest of our, our, our favorites. I think that, I don't think she'll let any more of them go for a while. And Good. I feel like Lola, yes, there is a season nine. It has been confirmed that there is a season nine. Yesterday, finally, finally it was confirmed. Yeah. And yeah. I, and I, I did. I did read a really good article that um, they're of how they already have a plan to not make up for Carl being gone because I don't think you can ever replace him, but to fill those shoes with one of the other characters. Who do you think it is? Do you have a guess? I have a theory. Go ahead. I don't know if I can. <laughs> I know. Did you see that? And and Marta, and Marta, you have you have a forever job, I think. Um, for those of you that don't know who Marta is, Marta, can you please put up your info in the comments? You beautiful thing, you. Um, Marta is the female cosplay Daryl. Um, she's absolutely magnificent. I am so thrilled that she's part of our infected family. I had to fluff. I'm fluffing Cinder. Um, which we means, all love Daryl. Which means that and Ms. Marta's Daryl makes you look twice. Yeah. Yes. Oh, literally. I am. You heard. I kind of felt bad. I checked her. <laughs> <laughs> I, honey, Jaquia, I. I oh. I w if I could take credit for getting Pimple demoted, I would I would literally like sing it from the rooftops if it was me. Hold on, I'm fluffing Cinder. Um, <laughs> I have a theory about what I think is going to happen 
with the the whole uh thing with uh where is where's Piper? Is she still here? We need to put up this is usually about the time I had to fluff Miss Cinder. I have a theory about what I think is gonna happen. Um and it's uh it kind of all hit me today. And then I got really excited because I thought, oh my God, like Angela is such a fan of the comics, which means she's caught up with the comics, which means oh, yeah. this is probably like, where they're going. A little Easter egg there, possibly. Hi, Margaret. Um, if you guys don't, for those of you that don't know, this is our mascot, Miss Cinder Apocalypse. Um, she is our official mascot. She's got our logo. Um, I show her off for the lovely ladies from Creepy and Cute. <laughs> um, so there she is. She's absolutely adorable. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. And as we speak, her she is getting a boyfriend. She's getting a boyfriend. He is. He will, Colleen wants to name. We already named him. His name is going to be, drumroll, <laughs> Siren Blaze. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! I love it. <laughs> His name is going I to be. I came up with Blaze. And Tammy came up with Siren. We both named him Tammy. <laughs> yep. Yep. So if you like the beautiful Miss Cinder and you want your own infected doll, you go over and you see the beautiful and talented ladies at Creepy and Cute at their Etsy shop. Poor Cinder. <laughs> huh? What? I said poor Cinder. She fell flat on her face. She's, she's good. Are you kidding? Cinder sits on a pillow all day long. All day. Look how spoiled she is. I know, but she fell flat on her face. No, she's getting a boyfriend. She's getting a boyfriend. Not a brother. Eva, all day long. They never leave. That This is where they are. They never leave my side. Are you kidding? I know. She's getting a boyfriend. So, Miss Piper is here get right married? now. He's the one who made the beautiful Cinder. Cinder Love. Apocalypse. And now Cinder is getting a boyfriend. <gasps> so, um, my theory about what's going to happen. So, I do believe that hints have been made. I do think that hints have been made. And I want you guys to go back and watch. So, you guys know the reason why we have our name. Who made her? Cherie. The, the, the absolutely talented Piper, Shano. She's on the chat right now. She, she's the uh, owner of Creepy and Cute Dolls. And uh, can we put the link in the chat comments, please? Can one of you ladies get the, please, while I'm talking? Um, Piper's on the chat right now, Cherie. Um, hold on. I'm going to, uh, hold on. I don't know why I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You were going to tell us your theory. Your theory. Who is it? Uh, hold on. Um, so do you guys remember when Rick was at the, uh, <coughs> remember when, do you remember when Rick was at the, uh, scavengers, when he was at the scavengers and he had the, and he climbed to the top, to the top, to the top, and then it had the great big background and you could see the whole junkyard. Mm -hmm. And then we saw the helicopter. Mm-hmm. I think that was a clue. Of what? Of the storyline to come. 
Infected and babies are sick. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh I'm my just God. imagining these cute little baby cinders and my freaking head just exploded. I'm sorry I keep like stalling, but I'm trying to think of how to do this without ruining anything for you guys. I was talking about this with Colleen and talking about it with Jacoya. I think because everybody ran their mouths and, and said things about, oh my God, I think Carl got bit by a whisper and everything. I think the fans talk, bless you. I think they talked too much about that, and mm. it almost was – no. I don't think it was, Telma. I think it's something else. I think it's setting up a storyline that's going to be on – Um, we don't use that Z word. The Z word doesn't – no. The Z word doesn't exist. No Z um, no. This is from, uh, one of the Halloween horrors that I went to at Universal Studios. Um, they're making me turn left. Okay. Um, I think tunnel vision, Penny. Tunnel vision. Everyone talked about the whisperers too much, and because they did that, it almost ruined it. Because if they put it in the show, the surprise of how they're introduced is going to be ruined. So I yeah. think they're going to bypass that storyline altogether for right now, especially since Carl just died. Yeah. I'm not saying they won't bring them into the show, but I think that's sidelined for now. And I think they're going directly to a storyline where the comics are right now, which I think is brilliant if they do it. And Jaquia is like, I know what it is. And it's, <laughs> it's a new group. And it's an extremely large group. They have over 50,000 members. I know it is. Do you know what I'm mm -hmm. talking about? I do. Whoa, do that's know, a time jump. Do you know that there is a rumor that a certain person is there <gasps> that is linked? I know who the rumor is. Character? Yeah. But that person <gasps> is, that person could step into our little. Power, power couple, and take the place of Carl and become the prodigal son and move into his storyline. Did that make sense? It could make sense. I, I think that would be, like, awesome to see that. There's a significance to the letter A, a. in The Walking Dead. Yeah. There's a significance to the letter A in The Walking Dead. Oh. Oh, I never thought of that. They always put an emphasis on the letter A in The Walking Dead. <laughs> oh, and I, and I, oh, now I get oh. it. Oh, my gosh. Wouldn't that be oh my gosh. amazing? That would be kind of like. Wow. Wow. Because he lost a son and yeah. yet lost a death. Right. And right. Oh, are you following God. me? I absolutely am following you. It hit me this morning. It all hit me this morning. Wow. And I was just like, wow. <sighs> <laughs> they don't, you had to, you've had to have either read the comics or read something ahead wouldn't that be I don't know how much you want to tell them i don't want to ruin it because that, that I, would be i want to tell you guys but i don't want to ruin it for you like that would be mind-blowing for that to happen so if you guys want to know i can break it down for you but i need you guys to like tell me right now i want to know i need comments saying because it my theory is no no, no. no. Okay, this is the other thing. <laughs> Let me explain this to you guys right now. I want to I want to make this very clear. Robert Kirkman was very adamant in the timeline with Pimple that he never ever wanted The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead 
never. overlap. Never. No. Never. No. And that was another thing that Gimple did on purpose. Define right. Robert Kirkman's. He never, ever wanted them to cross over. And Gimple did it anyway. Maybe you should give them a spoiler alert. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys this, like, this is my theory. This is just my theory. But it could, it's just my theory. I'm making that clear. And it's also a total, it could be a spoiler. So know that up front. And I don't want you guys to, like, come back and go, oh, my God, Penny was on the chat, and she blah, 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 and then she ruined it for me, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm saying it right now. So all you guys, like, hold up your hand and take the cinder pledge. If you don't want to know, go away right now. Go away. In the timeline of the comics right now, they're at a point in the comics where Michonne has come across a new group that is very organized. Let's just say that. They're very put together. They got their shit together. They're very large. They have over 50,000 people. Okay? Um, which would explain why they have a, a helicopter. Yeah. Okay? Um, they are so organized that they have, like, an army that has, like, stormtrooper type, um, literally, like, stormtrooper type, um, uniforms and stuff. Um, I, I have a picture. I can show you the picture. Um, it's, it, it's really, really, really cool. Um, I'm going to show you the picture. So, these, this group is called the Commonwealth. If you have not heard about them, it's fine. But, um, so in the Commonwealth, before meeting them, Michonne comes across another significant thing in The Walking Dead, which is pictures. Pictures. I always tell you guys, when we started these chats, the reason it's called Infected Dissected is because we dissect every little, little, itty bitty piece, little Easter eggs, because the littlest things always mean the biggest. So the letter A, pictures, little things, they always have the most significant meanings. Okay. In the comics, right, in the comics, um, Michonne has a daughter, but on the show she had a son. a son and on the show her necklace is a <laughs> or her son's name which was andre, andre. Mm -hmm. before she comes upon this huge group she finds this picture that's actually of her. And it says, if you find this woman, this is my mother, Michonne, which means her child is alive. Is alive and searching for her. Fuck, there goes the goosebumps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what hit me was they showed the helicopter when Rick was at the grave at the junkyard. Yeah. Yeah. They killed Carl. They're not going to give that storyline to Judith. She's too little. Mm -hmm. But Michonne told Carl, my son, had he lived, would be your age now. Yeah. If they bring the Commonwealth storyline to the Walking Dead now, and that happened. And Michonne is reunited with her son. This would be perfect. No, it's not an M. It's not an M. It's an A. It's an A for Andre. It's not an M. 
Piper, it's not an M, it's an A for Andre. M for Michael, she had for, Mike was her boyfriend, but the A is for Andre, her son. I'm Googling it. Google it. I am right now. Yeah. So, look up and see, because everyone that I've seen, because when she was talking to Carl about it, she had one on and it was an A when she was telling Carl the story about her son. If they've switched it, they've made a big faux pas on the show. Regardless, if they find, if they meet, if they have her reunite with her son. It's an A. And it's they, an a looking they at show it. her, you've got it? I've got it, it's an A. Can you send it to me? Yeah. Because I can put it up on the screen. You know what? It it looks like an M. Because of the way it's done. Because of the way it's it's done. Yeah. So if they have Michonne reunite with her son on The Walking Dead, and then they bring him into the storyline. That would be ridiculous. It's an M. Isn't it? It's an M. You got it? Looks, it? Like, it looks like an A. I don't think you'll be able to see it. It looks like an A, but it's actually an M. You got it? Yeah, it's an M. See how it looks? It looks like yeah. an M. See, but it's an M. It looks like an A. It does look like an A, but it says okay. Michonne's M oh. necklace. Okay, so we we all got okay. So it's okay, Piper. Yeah, because great Mike, research. Yeah, good research on your end. Yeah. So if they have him, I'm glad that we clarify it because yeah. I always thought it was an E. No, because she they yeah, gave her a doll. They gave her a doll, so if like that was like, I would cry. Um, I saw. I thought he died, but she did say, "My, I lost my son." Well, that's the thing. She didn't actually see him die. She went back to the camp. Yeah, and he was gone. He was gone. So it just hit me that if that would be a way that they could, because Kirkman said. It's going to be remarkable. Yeah. He did say uh, that. It was he said it's going to be re remarkable. Yeah. And it hit me that if it's, if it's Michonne's son, because Rick, you know that How Rick How freaking going to amazing would that be? Take him in. You know what I mean? You know what else yeah. I'm wondering about is they keep making a big deal of this last scene with Carl and how whatever he says to them keeps going through the show. Like it's it's resounding through the show. It's like makes such a major impact. I'm wondering what it is that he tells them or says to them at right. the end that makes such a major impact on the show. Right, right, yeah. right. Well, that's the other thing too. Did you, Piper, are you still there? You guys were right. It's an M. She got a close-up of the picture. It's an M. <laughs> still there? Looks like an A. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, so, um, it, it just like, if that, if that happens, because then they could take, like, if they brought the whisperers now, it wouldn't work. But if they do the Commonwealth first. Right. And intro, and bring Andre in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that gives them time for him to, you know what I mean? And get us a yeah. to Andre. Then they can have, they, they can introduce all of, you know what I mean? All of Carl's storylines. And then they could bring in the Whisperers and have Andre and Lydia or Andre and the Hilltop. Right. And, you know what I'm saying? Right. All of that. And then we could be yeah. invested we would have time to get invested in him. Right. 
Whereas if they brought in the whispers and stuff now, we, w- we wouldn't care. It, you have to be invested yeah. in a character yeah. for it to work. Yeah. yeah. So we all want to know what happened to Heath. But apparently Pimple <laughs> doesn't care. He I, just sent I, him off. I read that we might find out what happened to Heath in, this, in the back half of eight. Who knows? Um, they show she's with Maggie. She's with Maggie. Yeah, she's with Maggie's Maggie. got the baby. Mm-hmm. She's with Maggie. Um, she's with Maggie. Even in the um, even in the new uh promo pictures for uh the back eight, they show her sitting in a crib next to Maggie's desk. So, yeah. um, she's sitting there with Maggie. In the future. Oh, uh, in the future. I don't, I don't think, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't, at this point, I mean, like, I don't know. I don't even know why, to be honest, I don't even know why they. Oh, did you? Oh. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, guys. Yeah, did you guys hear? Like, she got a close up, and it is an M. So everything yeah. is good. You guys are safe. It's all good. <laughs> we made the boo boo. We did it. We made the boo boo. Yeah, um, Gracie is with Gracie is at the hilltop. So I imagine, to be honest, um, I don't see her. I mean, like, they could have her take the place of. Uh, I don't even understand why they brought that baby in, to be honest. It it makes no sense. Like why does why does Maggie need another kid when she's about to drop Herschel? So little Herschel, um, you know, like she's gonna have her own baby. So I don't But understand. maybe maybe Gracie might fill in that Sophia. Right. Because she they adopted, she Sophia. adopted Sophia. And they and they killed Sophia. Um, so that could be it that she takes Sophia's role. Um, But Sophia would have been about a lot older. Yeah. By now in the show. So, um, yeah, but if they're going, if they're going to mismatch, like instead of going to the whispers, we go to the Commonwealth and that sort of thing. Maybe that can allow time for that baby to grow up. Maybe. Well, yeah. Well, that is a time jump. So, well, yeah, that is a time. It is, it is a bit, but, um, I mean, Maggie will have already had the baby if they time jump to that in season nine. Right. I don't think that they're going to time jump. I think that they're going to like swap around. What, Jacoya? Follow timelines and that, speaking? but I'm right here. Yes. They encounter the Commonwealth before they encounter the Whisperers. I yeah. I don't know. What I, I'm, I mean, they might do away with that one for a while. Right. Um. What yeah. I. What I hope for the future is that they just put them in one spot and leave them because right now this part of like we find a place, we settle down, we find somebody, we fight it out, and our whole place blows up, and now we're back on the road. Right. We find a place, we settle down, we start fighting with someone, our town blows up, now we're back on the road. And it was good for the first couple times, but now yeah. it's many. Now it's, they know it's old. It's getting, them. it's getting boring. It's getting repetitive. Yeah. You start rebuilding society. And and it's time for them, I think, to really start building some more of the roles to make us really invested in some of the characters that we haven't had time because you see them like so briefly and they're scattered all over the place. Right. So I think it would be good to put them all in one spot and let us really invest in some of them. Right. Well, that's the other thing, yeah. too, like how the show was before when we when we got chunks of time with them. And that's why we got so emotionally attached. Right. The love of all the gods. Can we get some good music back? Oh, my God. Yeah. Really? Can we, yeah. <laughs> can, can we get some good? Write a letter to Bear McCreary and tell him to please go back and look at the, the first 
five seasons and how good the music was. What happened? What, what happened? happened? Go back to that. None know. of this easy street shit. I actually really still like Easy Street. It's my it's my ringtone. <laughs> You're evil. Was with all the weird music in the last episode. <laughs> yeah, like I don't understand. Like, um, what has happened to like all the the music? It just got so weird. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> it did. I, maybe I I think probably. Gimple did. Yeah, the funny Let's stuff that, that people would say too. Can we get some comedy lines back? Yeah, like where yeah. the lightheartedness. Yeah. And the, yeah. I'm hoping that she brings some of that back because I think she, she will. Yeah. Have and in some of the really good episodes that we all <laughs> that were critically acclaimed and were really, really, you know, some of the best ones. So I just watched six ten today, and that was one of hers. Which one? Six ten. Six ten, and it was so good. And there was some a little bit of funny stuff in it. You know, that's the one where they meet Jesus, and you know, all the stuff happens with the truck and all this. Yeah. Stuff. Oh my God, that one was so great! It was, so it was like Benny Hill. Like I love that one. I know, and then and then someone actually did mix it with Benny Hill and just made it even better. <laughs> I watched that video. Oh, I will no, confess, no, no. I have watched that video at least once a week since because it just cheers me up so well. <laughs> yeah, I I really would. I'm I'm hopeful. I, I'm telling you guys right now, I am hopeful. I think Bye. that this was a good call. I I I'm sad that um. <laughs> Hi, Logan. <laughs> I'm Hi, No, he is. Uh, yes, Jesus is hot. Yes, he is. And I think it's hilarious that, like, Jesus in The Walking Dead is gay. I just think that's a hilarious part there. Well, I think that they're going to put, um, I think that he'll wind up with uh, Aaron. Aaron. I do, too. I think so. so. With who? Aaron. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we have that to look forward to. Um, go, oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. It was at the prison when they first got to the prison. Yeah. I want them all to break the little fangle. I want them to break so that he's with Daryl. Well, you know what? She's a huge Daryl fan, so I think that that eventually is going to happen, that, um, that she's going to – eventually like get him a, a romance Happy. um he needs to yeah, be <laughs> yeah that he'll finally you know but the thing too is that they've spent so much time at war and they've spent so much time fighting i mean who has time and jesus is no? just the man for him <laughs> i think no jesus is gonna wind up with aaron i'm putting it out there i'm putting it out there i know but jesus i ship it wind up with i really aaron. Could you imagine that man witch right there? But the thing could you imagine that man witch right there? In the comics, did you guys know that? That is just, mate. In the comics that Rosita wound up with Eugene. Eugene. But Eugene messed that up. I mean, you know, that. well, Eugene didn't mess it up. The writing. Writers messed it up. Having Eugene go full mm -hmm. traitor. And I kept waiting for him to, like, me too. And come back, and I don't even know. I mean, yeah, we can be hopeful now. Um, them not having a settlement has got to. They need to have a settlement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and they need to. Um, well, do you think Alexandria is completely burned down? It looked like it. No, it's gone. It's not. Because have you seen that all the yeah. articles where Norman said, you know, the, the other great loss? It's it's Alexandria. That's done. It's toast. So now they're going to be back on the road. That's what I mean. Like it, the whole recycling thing, like it, it's been done. That's another reason why Pimple needs to go sit in the corner and just color with his crayons and and realize that he took, you know, the number one rated show on TV and screwed it up with his ego. I think they'll go to Hilltop. Don't you think they'll go to Hilltop? Well, they're going to have to right now. 
Yeah. Where else can they go? They can't because the kingdom is taken over with the savior. So they can only go to Hing to Hilltop. I think it's going to suck yeah. at first. We got to get through these back eight. You know, it's going to be the funeral of Pimple. And then um, yeah. once we get through that, I mean, if you think about it, like right now, Angela Kang is going to have no life. The film, the, the show starts filming in May. Yeah. We're in the middle of January. She yeah. has how long to start writing? Start writing. She's got to start writing. Um, she's got to get her butt, you know, going. And um, I hope, I would rather that they delay filming than she puts out some shitty episodes. I don't think she will. I think she has people that help too. I see other writers on there a lot in the in the um at the well, beginning in the credits so maybe she has help i'm hoping that she gets rid of most of the ones that have been there with gimple to be honest right. i hope that she pulls in ones that she knows right will work with her yeah and be on the t or that she so. goes to kirkman and says i hope that she collaborates with kirkman yeah. as much as possible you know, in retrospect, yeah. the other day when I read the article where Daryl spoke out, where Norman spoke out, and that's so out of character for him, I he now right. this explains why he felt like he could speak out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because remember, I was telling you guys, I was like, "Wow!" Like, he doesn't do that. No. He no. 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 Not him. Colleen, Colleen, I was like, "Man, I think he's gonna walk." That's what I thought. I think he's done. Mm. I thought the same thing. But I think now it was this. I think he 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 felt he could yeah. speak out now. So it makes me a little bit more hopeful that he'll renew his contract. Yeah. Yeah. I I think that like I said, things happen behind the scenes long before we find out. Right. So just yeah. because we found out yesterday doesn't mean that this Oh, they knew it. They yeah. knew a while back. Yeah. And so, like I said, if you guys don't just sit here and I don't like when people just say, oh, well, yeah, OK, I you know what you said makes sense. So I'm just going to go. Don't do that. Yeah. This is all just my Do your own research. My opinion. Right. Don't, you know, use your own minds. Go back. But to me, if you follow the timeline of events, especially starting in April. <laughs> When Pimple got demoted. If yeah. you start there, when he got demoted and put as showrunner for Fear the Walking Dead. They start filming in May, Dawn. Um, filming starts in May. Um, so if you start looking at the timeline of events from when he was demoted to the showrunner of Fear the Walking Dead. It all starts making sense as to why things happened the way they did to what led us to yesterday. Yeah. And I don't yeah. care what Scott Gimple tries to tell the media. He killed off Carl as a spit in the face to Robert Kirkman. He did. Yeah. Because what he signed does not make sense. It doesn't make sense yeah. because Carl was literally... At first, he was a sociopath who escaped Alexandria and tried to kill Negan his damn self. He sat there and was humiliated by Negan. Negan made him cry, for Christ's sakes. Look at your eye. It's making me sick, dude. Oh, my God. I can see your eye socket. Negan made him cry. And you're telling me now he wants to save him? Get the fuck out of here. There, there's no... All of a sudden, he's holding hands and singing Kumbaya. No. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Scott Gimple thinks, that's what pisses me off more than anything, is you guys need to understand, Scott Gimple thinks we are stupid. stupid. Welcome back, Virginia. Everybody's having Wi-Fi troubles. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got really bad wind here, so that's like, my issue that that's what upsets me more than anything is that he thinks <laughs> he's like up here with this big fat ego head 
and we're all down here and we're stupid and we don't remember. Oh, you're welcome, Piper. Gipple's a fucking tool. <laughs> we're stupid. That we didn't just watch that episode where he literally ignored his dad jumped on the truck with Jesus, and even Jesus was like, this fucking kid. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he yeah. Was taken out on his own. Oh, yeah, Don. He sits on The Walking Dead. I, I mean, Talking Dead. I read <coughs> an article where there were comments on the bottom, and they said, no, watch him on The Talking Dead, how every time Chris Hardwick, who is – such a sweetheart. One of the nicest guys. Yeah, he is. And how every time he cracks a joke or anything, Pimple will sit there like, you yeah. know, like he smells mm. something. You know, like he, nothing's funny to him. He just sits there like, you guys should all be bowing that I'm even here in your presence. Get out of here. He's an idiot. I just, I don't like the man. He's so smug. Smug is a perfect word for him. He's just. Yeah. He reminds me of the little rat in Charlotte's Web. Do you remember Charlotte's Web when we were kids, the cartoon? <laughs> you know, that little rat. <laughs> the, oh, my God. That little rat in Charlotte's Web in the cartoon in the 70s. He reminds me of him, and he was done by the voice of Paul. Oh, my God. Who else is here that's my age? Paul, what's his name? He has that little, like, mm, oh, you just want to, like, bitch slap him across the room and then run up Ratatouille. <laughs> no, not the one from Charlotte's Web. Oh, my God. I forget. But the original cartoon that was done with Debbie Reynolds played Charlotte and Paul, what's his name? God, I forget his name, but oh, you just want to like shake him till his brains fall out. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Virginia, do you know what I'm talking about? Because like, ugh, you just want to like. <laughs> Templeton. Templeton. Templeton, Krista. Thank you. Yes, he. Templeton. That's who he looks right. Ugh. So, um, before we let you guys go, what do you guys think of our introductions? Aren't huh? they awesome? Do you like them? They are so fucking awesome. Like, you have no idea how much I fucking love them. <laughs> I'm just trying to sort something out here so people, I'm not like, you know, bored or anything oh. playing with my phone. I'm trying to sort no. something did out. Did you guys, did everybody get to see all four of them? Because I posted all four of them on the page. And then now when you look at the page and you look at our cover photo and you play the sound. They are amazing, awesome, aren't they, Virginia? Yeah. Nobody has intros like that. So, mm -hmm. um, I went and, um, took, let, let me see. I went and, um, I went and, uh, put them on the cover of the page. And then um, she said, Tammy went and got coffee, too. <laughs> I know. Um, I went and put them on the cover. And then um, when I upload this to our YouTube channel, I'll put them at the beginning of the chat before it goes. It uploads to the YouTube channel. So um, we have four new intros. Um, and they're awesome. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of. You guys can... Tell us which ones you guys like the best. Um, what made me really happy was going and looking and seeing that um, on the little, when I see it, it tells me like <laughs> how many times it's been viewed. But what really made me happy was seeing how it says this clip has been viewed for 65 minutes. 
Awesome. And the clips were only 12 seconds long. <laughs> so that made my heart so happy because it's like a 12 second clip has been watched for 65 minutes. Right. So I was like, yeah, like 10 times. So like, <laughs> um, and watching it with the music is like, yeah, turn them, turn the sound on, turn the sound up because that's even better. But yeah. like when I first told you guys that I was getting them, I was like so excited because I hadn't seen them yet. And I didn't know how she was going to, you know, what she was going to do. Mm-hmm. But when I got them, they came into my mailbox at 4 a.m. And I remember Tammy was awake. Because <laughs> I'm supposed to be awake at that time. You aren't. <laughs> it was 4 a.m. my time. And I remember, like, I messaged her and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> there he is. Look what happened. I was like, look, 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 look. <laughs> yes. 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 Turn on the sound. They have sound oh in the little bottom right hand corner. Oh my God. You've not watched them with sound. Oh my God. They have sound. Um, and I remember just like, like got them and I messaged her. I was like, Oh my God. <laughs> and then I sent them to Piper and then I was like, are you ready for this? And I sent them to Piper and she was just like, Oh my fucking God. And I was just like, right. <laughs> I, I'm so, I'm so pleased with them. I'm so, I couldn't have. They're been, amazing. I couldn't have been happier. Like, I love them. <laughs> so I can't wait to put them in front of the video before I upload it. So that, how do you guys not know that? Oh my gosh, they have sound. <laughs> Turn the sound on. They're so good. Hold on, I'll try to see if I can. It's, it's silly to do it like this on the. Hold on, let me see. You guys don't realize they have sound? Oh my gosh, you're missing so much. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> You guys not know they didn't have sound. Can you hear them? Yes. How did you guys not know they didn't have sound? Because when they're posted on the page, if you don't click the sound button on them, you don't hear them. I ha- I found that out too. See, they have sound. <laughs> you guys have to click. You have to click the little the little button on the little right hand corner they have sound yeah sorry sorry my internet just went again needs to hire you (laughs) i do the third one they are so cool yeah they're amazing. amazing I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. So I got so excited when you sent them to me. I couldn't believe it. I was up at four o'clock in the fucking morning. What am I doing awake at four o'clock in the morning? (laughs) I know my bloody, my, my sleeping tablets were like trying to knock me on my ass. And I'm just like, "Eh." (laughs) and then I know. And then out. (laughs) <laughs> the third one, oh, I know with the music it's like the the with the music it's like even like better so much better all right guys we've been on for like an hour and a half, so I'm gonna let you go um I need to try to eat yeah um 
I love you guys. Um, let us know what you guys uh, think about um, the theories. Think about all the information. If you guys want the PDF file for the lawsuit, I have it, but I can only send it through email. So you have to message me your email address and I will be more than happy. I have the hiccups now, so I'm gonna hiccup. So send me your email address and I will um, send you, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he will send you the PDF file. <laughs> I will send you the PDF file with the, uh, the, the lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> We're all professional and shit until like the end, and then just like everything goes. <laughs> That's why you love us, infected. Okay, so Penny. If you want, uh, if anyone wants a lawsuit, Penny's going to uh, send Penny yeah. your email. She will email it to you, stat. Right, Stat. Here? stat. So we love you, Infected. Okay, there we go. If you hold <laughs> your breath and you swallow three times, it gets rid of your hiccups. Sometimes. See? It works. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. That was so funny. I don't want to laugh because they'll come back. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> I love you guys, and I will send you the, the lawsuit if you want it. And there is a walker in here. Don't make me laugh because they'll come back. <laughs> you guys don't. If you guys, want, if you guys want your own creepy and cute doll, then go to creepy and cute shop on Etsy, and you can order. Okay. Um, if you guys want a Shiva, message on the page and we can get you a Shiva. Don't give up hope. We got a new showrunner. It's a new day and it's going to get better. And remember that we love you and we're all infected. Bye. Bye, infected. Mwah. <laughs>